Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create and run a custom Windows 10 virtual machine on Amazon AWS EC2. Well, as we all know, EC2 only offers server AMIs. It can be a Linux or Windows, but it does not offer a Windows client AMI. So how you can upload your custom AMI Windows 10 or Windows 7 virtual machine EMI to Amazon EC2 so that you can bring up more instances in the Amazon EC2 section. Well, we will use a VM import export feature. VM import export enables you to import virtual machine images from your existing virtualization environment to Amazon EC2 and then export them back. This enables you to migrate applications and workloads to Amazon EC2 copy the VM image catalog to Amazon EC2 or create a repository of VM images for backup and disaster recovery. Well, to start with, you have to import your VM as an image, as a VHD, VMDK or, or via OVA template. Then you will have to upload that image to the Amazon S3 bucket. Then we will have to need a VM import service row so that that can interact with the VM import export feature and import it through that Amazon S3 bucket. VM import requires a rule to perform certain operations in the account, such as downloading disk images from an Amazon S3 bucket. We must create a rule named VM import with a trust relationship policy document that allows VM import to assume the role and you must attach an IAM policy to the role. Here is how you can create a VM import service role. You will have to create a file name trust dash policy dot json. It will be a json type file with the following policy. This this can remain as it is. So this can remain as it is. Effect will be allow principle will be vmi amazon aws dot com action this role condition you can find it on the amazon documentation as well then you will have to create a role use the create role command this is a built-in commandlet for amazon cli to create a role named vm import and give vm import export access to it aws im create role role name would be vm import resume rule policy document save this file on your computer and give the location of this file properly while running this command. Then you will have to create a role policy. Then you will create a file named role policy.json with the following policy where this image file bucket would be your S3 bucket where you store the file. It will be your bucket where you store the file in Amazon US. And then uh, you have to make changes to this uh, action so that it can modify the sh short attribute, copy the snapshot, register the image, EC2 disk wipe, save this file, and then you will have to use put rule policy, import policy, VM import policy document. This is the file that we created in the previous step. And then you will have to upload the images to the Amazon S3 using the upload tool of your choice. You can use through browser you can use AWS CLI or there are third party tools available that can help you to upload your uh, file to the S3 bucket. Now you'll have to import the VM. After we upload the image to the Amazon S3, we can use the Amazon CLI to import the image. These tools accept either the Amazon S3 bucket or the path to the file or a URL. For a public Amazon S3 file, private Amazon S3 files require signed GET URL. Then here is an example. Let's say you want to import an OVA file from the uh, VMware thing. Then you will have to use Amazon EC2 import image. Let's say you are importing a 2008 machine OVA. You can have the inbuilt thing here, this container. This would be your containers.json policy file that you created. Then you would mention that you are importing description windows 2008 over format would be over type bucket would be your bucket here is three bucket. And this is three key would be your over file key. That is how you will import an image 
after exporting it from your virtualized environment it may be an on prem environment or any virtualized environment hyper v vmware and then you can place that ami to your uh, ami section and when you will be creating an ec2 instance you will get that option under uh, my ami section so that you can spin up more ec2 client based os on the aws client so i hope this was informative to all of you i would see you in the next video till then have a great day bye bye